Hello Cancer, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. How are you guys? This is your Love and Life reading focused on the second half of December. So from December 16th all the way through the 31st, I cannot believe how fast this year has flown by. So this is a general reading as always Cancer. It's not going to resonate with every single person tuning in. Please take from this what makes sense for you and your situation, your relationship, and let go of what does not resonate with you. If you're interested in a private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box, and I will also have a list of all of the card decks that are used for my readings, Cancer. Let's get started. So if you are already a current subscriber to my channel, you'll know that I always love to start off my readings with focused messages from usually a couple of decks. This time around, I'm being guided to use three. And these are the three that I have chosen for this reading, Cancer. So for all of my readings for the second half of the month, this is what I'm guided to include, which is a deck by Fire Witch Tarot. As you can see by the title, it's WTF is the problem. It really gets down to the nitty gritty. It doesn't mince words. If you are offended by profanity, this is not the deck for you because it really tells it like it is. And the next deck we'll be using is Messages of Love Oracle Cards. I really love it. I just, I've only had it maybe like two, three weeks, and I really love the messages that come forward from it. This is by All Things Intuitive. And then we'll go ahead and pull some focus messages from the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle by Aqua Moonlight. So let me set these guys aside, and let's start off with this very insightful deck that tells it like it is by Fire Witch Tarot. So what is the problem, Cancer? Let's take a look and see what is most prominent here and what needs to come through for this reading for the second half of December. For Cancer, please, angels and spirit guides, bring it forward for my Cancers or for anybody who's been guided to tune in. Could be for my cross watchers as well. I am guided to this one. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I'm telling you, it tells it like it is. Have you had sex lately? Grouch. <laughs> so somebody's really grouchy because they haven't gotten any in a while. Oh my god. So if you happen to be resonating with that cancer, it's picking up off of that, okay? So that's for some of you guys. Let's go ahead and grab an additional focus message from the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle. And again, this is by Aqua Moonlight. Let's add to that. Angels and Spirit Guides for Cancer, please. Bring forward an additional focus message for Cancer at this time. Oh my god, I cannot believe that card. But yeah, it's coming through for a reason, Cancer. Oh my gosh. Heart Fog. And it says, mixed signals, blocked emotions, and clutter. That could be getting in the way as far as your love life is concerned. And that's preventing you probably from making the type of connections where intimacy is possible. That's for some of you guys. Let's take a look and see what else is coming through here. All right, let's rely on our third deck, Messages of Love Oracle cards, to bring forward a couple more focus messages for this reading for you, Cancer. So somebody's getting mixed signals here. Either you are Cancer or the person that you're thinking about. And so it is creating those blocked emotions because they don't quite know how to feel or you don't. And there's a lot of clutter in the energy. And when we're unsure about whether we want something to happen or if you're picking up off of somebody's signals that you you can't quite figure out what it is that they're wanting in the connection you know then it's very difficult to proceed and move forward because you're you guys are probably not on the same page but let's see let's see what else needs to come through here let's grab this one Look at this. Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. So part of those mixed signals, part of that clutter might have something to do with a third party situation here. Addiction also being indicated. An addiction is affecting 
this relationship. That could be a literal addiction by way of alcoholism, drug abuse, some form of addiction and that way of interpretation. But an addiction could also be an obsession of sorts towards a person. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up from that. So let's see if any of these messages play into the rest of this reading, or that could just be completely separate that needs to come through here for this reading. So let's see. Let's see if it resonates with the rest of the reading. If not, that's just something that needed to be communicated at this time. All right, so let's start, Cancer, and let's see what else needs to come forward for this reading for you. Angels and Spirit Guides. For Cancer, what else do we need to know at this time? In love, in life. Let's see what else needs to come forward here. Yeah, see, karmic partners, third party situations, that is contributing to that heart fog. Mixed signals, blocked emotions and clutter, interference, an external party is intruding on this relationship. And here we are with the karmic partner. That's the interference right there. For those of you who dealt with a third party situation and you were already involved with somebody else, and it could be cancer that for some of you guys, you were focused too heavily on this karmic partner and you weren't really paying attention or throwing too much energy into your relationship with somebody else. And, you know, so they're coming forward wondering, you know, why haven't we had sex lately? You've been awfully grumpy, you know, or you've been really grouchy. What's up with that? And it could have something to do with this karmic partner. Next card. There are lessons that need to be learned here. Perhaps you are in the process of learning that cancer or the other person is. But these lessons need to be learned in order to create movement either away from this karmic partner or working on an existing relationship that involved a third party situation or just you moving on on your own. Part of these lessons too might have something to do with addictive behavior that some of you guys have been dealing with or are affected by if it's somebody else. The next card is mirroring energy. That's my twin flame card here. The person that you're thinking about for this reading cancer could be your twin flame. For those who are unfamiliar with a twin flame, that is your mirror soul, your soul connection. You can only have one twin flame in this lifetime. You can have more than one soulmate because a soulmate doesn't just have to be a romantic partner. Your soulmate could be a friend, a relative, your child, but you can only have one twin flame. This person is your true energetic counterpart. They are literally the other half of your soul. And it's coming through here that you guys are actually mirroring each other. Communication. Next card is pause. So what this is telling us is that there is no communication or very little of it or it's just not very productive this pause in communication could be towards this karmic partner cancer especially if you have decided that you no longer want to be a part of that if that that's something that you're resonating with and if your partner entered into a third party situation. There's a reason why they're no longer talking. Because there's a lot of mixed signals going on here. There's a lot of clutter that is surrounding the energy of this situation. Patience is needed at this time, Cancer, because this is a very difficult situation, I feel, for some of you. And it's going to take time to see how this is all going to play itself out. 
if the karmic partner is still very much a part of this equation, it's going to take time to phase this situation out. And I feel that's a part of the lessons that need to be learned here. I've got somebody who's coming forward with fear. They're afraid. It's falling right below lessons. So whoever is resonating with that fear card, it could certainly be you, Cancer. It, or it could be the person that you are in a partnership with, or it could be the karmic partner, whoever it is. Or it could be all of you that need to learn these lessons, but there's fear here. So this is telling us that somebody's afraid to learn those lessons. Somebody is afraid to kind of figure out, you know, what does the future hold? If I go in this direction, what is it going to bring in for me? But somebody is in that stagnant energy or that two of swords type energy where there's that stalemate vibration, knowing that you have a decision to make, but you can't make a move because there's that stalemate type energy. You literally can't make a decision. Either you're not ready or you're afraid to. But this metamorphosis card is telling us and it's falling right below that mirroring card, which again is my twin flame card, that you and your twin flame cancer, you guys are going through some changes here. For the most part, when this metamorphosis card comes forward, I do feel that it's positive changes. So I feel some of you guys might be identifying with this karmic partner or third party situation, leaving the equation, leaving the situation and is no longer a factor here. That's for some of you guys. You've dealt with this interference for long enough and you know you weren't going to put up with that. We've got action. If you and your person cancer are having issues right now, I feel either you will take action or they will to start communicating once again but right now we've got that mute card so there isn't any communication more than likely we've got that pause button that somebody hit along with that mute button you know it's like a phone it's like pause i don't want to talk to you mute i don't want to hear what you have to say but that's where you guys might be at currently but you also have a fresh start that's coming in here. You guys can actually start over and overcome the obstacles that you have been overwhelmed by in regard to this whole situation with the karmic partner and third party situations and having to deal with other people intruding in your business, in your relationship. They have no business being there. So you can have that new beginning if you and your person are on the same page. And if you're both wanting to see growth and to move forward in this connection, you can actually have that. For those dealing with addictions, and I'm tapping into mostly alcoholism and drug abuse, I do feel that if you work on focusing on your addiction and getting the help and the healing that is so needed here, you as well can welcome in the growth in your life and a new beginning to start over and start fresh. We've got received coming through as well. Received could certainly be messages, emails, texts, phone calls, voice messages, letters, cards, gifts, or even vibrations and energies. I feel, Cancer, that if you and your person are in separation, which I feel some of you guys are, or most of you are, you're receiving each other's messages, but somebody's not responding, or you guys are just not responding to each other because there is no communication more than likely at this time. But there are signs. There are signs all around you that's trying to grab your attention cancer. So get rid of the clutter, get rid of those mixed signals from whoever it is is giving you mixed signals. 
It's time to get rid of the interference, the third parties, the karmic partners, and focus on where life is trying to direct you. It's trying to guide you towards a particular path. That's what those signs are trying to pick up off of you to let you know it's like, hey, we're over here. We want you to go in this direction because the path that you're on is not working. I feel that these signs are meant to contribute to the metamorphosis of your life, your love life and life in general. It's trying to direct you onto a better path here, Cancer. So definitely pay attention to that. That's in tune with the lessons that need to be learned as well. We've got the admired card coming through here. There's somebody out there that has a lot of admiration for you. This could be a part of your heart space as well. And you have a lot of admiration and love and care and compassion for a particular person that you have in mind for this reading. Could be your twin flame. So even though you guys have had issues in regard to an intruder in your relationship, a karmic partner, a third party, however way that's resonating in your situation, the person that's in your heart is somebody that you admire greatly. That is what's coming through here. We've got the Muse card being represented here as well. With that paintbrush, Cancer, you can paint a different outcome for yourself. You can paint a better future for yourself. You can be very creative with the direction that life is to take. You are in control. You have the power to pick this up, pick up that brush and create something beautiful for yourself. Absolutely. We do have an offer coming through here. It could be an offer to start over, have that fresh start, but it is going to take time. So have patience with that. My divine feminine definitely wants to be heard here. I feel it's my divine masculine who's coming through with this fear, though. Afraid to learn those lessons, possibly afraid to reach out and communicate at this time. But my divine feminine is standing her ground and is in her power. It could have been my Divine Feminine who hit that pause button and or that mute button to stop communication. It could have been my Divine Masculine who messed up here, entered into a third party situation, a karmic partnership. Of course, that's not for everyone, but I'm that's what I'm picking up from this. There is a barrier that is being represented here. that is creating that blockage in communication at this time. But I just, I feel that it's just a temporary thing here. I do feel ultimately, since we do have twin flame representation here, it's just a matter of time before you hear from this person, Cancer. I don't feel that that karmic partner is going to play a part of this equation for long. And that fog is gonna lift. It's going to lift and it's gonna clear so that you and your person can start over. Healing needs to happen. Somebody's heart was broken here as a result of infidelity, karmic partners, third parties, cheating, lies, deception, manipulation. Somebody's heart was broken here. But somebody wants you back and or you want someone back, Cancer. So I feel part of that desire is what's going to create movement towards reconciliation between the two of you. We've got divine timing coming through next. So again, this is gonna take some time. It's going to require patience. We already have the patience card coming through here. So yeah, it's gonna take some time for this new beginning to manifest itself. And the next card is soulmate. Okay, so we've got mirroring energy, which is for me twin flame. And we also have the, the soulmate 
card being represented here now. So whatever or however you identify with the connection, they're both being represented here. And I feel here that you still care for this person, Cancer. They still care for you. This interference, I feel, really messed things up in your connection with each other. It really created problems in your relationship to the point where you guys just stopped being intimate. And I feel that's why this is coming through. You know, people observing like, God, you've been really mean or grouchy lately. What is up? Have you had sex lately? You know, that type of vibration to where it's affecting your demeanor and how you handle yourself because it just created so much drama in your relationship. But I feel part of the lessons that you guys are learning here is to overcome those challenges so that you can bring about healing, remove this barrier, okay? Create the changes that are being brought on by that metamorphosis so that you guys can come back together as one. That is what I'm feeling here. So even though there is not a whole lot of communication here, if at all, I feel given some time, okay, we're moving at the universe's time here, not our time frame. So you got to just trust that the universe is going to create movement and remove barriers and obstacles from you in order for you guys to come back together. The desire is certainly here for you guys to reunite. Okay. So let's add to this with some tarot. Twin Flame Journey Tarot by Mystic Moon. Angels and Spirit Guides for Cancer, please. What else do we need to know at this time? In love and in life for Cancer for the second half of December, please. What else do we need to know for you, Cancer? Wow, Six of Cups. Whoever you are in separation from, either your twin flame or your soulmate, you guys are still thinking about each other. You're missing each other. Six of Cups is memories and reunion. So again, feeling nostalgic and wanting a reconciliation. Return. A reconnection. Look at these next two cards, guys. I mean, wow. Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups are two amazing cards. We have all cups right here. That's your own energy, Cancer, as well as Scorpio and Pisces, of course. But this is a Cancer reading. So this, to me, is you being nostalgic about the connection with somebody that you're thinking about for this reading. What you're wanting is contentment and joy and fulfillment and happiness with this person. And... They make you happy. They fulfill your wishes. That's what these two cards are all about. The Ten of Cups is, um, it's completion. It's happiness. It's things finally falling into alignment between two people in love. Wanting to be together. Wanting to build a future. Wanting to find happiness long term with each other. The Nine of Cups, satisfaction and wish fulfillment you guys make each other happy. You satisfy each other. You fulfill each other. You make each other's wishes come true. Interestingly enough, that Nine of Cups could also be somebody who has a drinking problem, Cancer. If this is you, it's coming through here. If it's not you, then it's something that you're dealing with. Perhaps that's why we've got this addiction card that's coming through as well. An addiction is affecting this relationship. For some of you guys, that addiction created a wedge between you and your partner. And that's what allowed this karmic partner to create this wedge between the two of you guys. Especially if you and your person were having issues at the time that this third party situation started. The next card is the Fool card. A new beginning. Reiterated by that fresh start card. So I feel here, Cancer, that you and the person that you're focused on for this reading, you guys will have a new beginning. Starting over. 
somebody needs to take that first step and take that leap of faith that is what the fool is representing is taking a risk and going for it we've got the three of cups here so this is confirming for me that there are third party situations that involved themselves into this whole situation you know we've got interference for sure interference karmic partners third party situations three of cups can indicate third parties but it also represents celebrations and community we are in the holiday season lots of celebrations coming in for some of you guys spending time with loved ones with friends with family but going back to what i said earlier with that two of swords energy here we are stalemate and indecision and i feel that it's this person who's coming forward with fear somebody who's afraid to learn those lessons somebody who is afraid to maybe move on to heal to find a different path to start over to reach out to ask somebody to return somebody's afraid and i feel it could be my divine masculine who's coming forward with that fear knowing that there are choices that need to be made but there's fear there and so it's creating that stalemate and inability to make a decision but damn it's like you can actually be really happy with your person cancer if this barrier and interference is removed and i feel the potential to remove that it's slowly working its way in there you know we've got divine timing we've got patience that is required metamorphosis takes time but there are changes that are happening here as well as healing energy so that's a really good thing i've got the knight of cups coming through romantic gesture more cups energy we've got a lot of cups here we've got the six of cups ten of cups nine of cups three of cups knight of cups that's a lot of cups here guys all water energy all representing your own energy cancer so i feel for my divine masculines who are afraid to take that first step to reach out to my divine feminine where is she at she's right here i'm saying she but it, that's just energy it could be male or female somebody's afraid to reconcile for whatever reason especially knowing that they did something wrong in regards to karmic partners third parties but somebody will eventually create movement here and come forward with that romantic gesture for some of you guys that romantic gesture could actually be a proposal of marriage i'm feeling that for some of you we are in the holiday season lots of surprises lots of presents celebrations you never know cancer some of my divine feminines might actually be very surprised this holiday season with a proposal of marriage is what i'm feeling here that is what i am feeling here i've got the queen of swords coming through as well that is air energy libra aquarius gemini for my divine feminines who are identifying with the queen of swords this is somebody who has the capability of cutting someone out of their life who no longer belongs there it could have something to do with that karmic partner for some of you this queen is sharp and assertive and is not afraid to use that sword if needed wow all right guys so let's add some romance angels to this and let's see what else we can uncover for you cancer for this reading angels and spirit guides please for cancer what else do we need to know at this time 
please bring it forward for Cancer for the second half of December, please. Look at that. Release your ex. And for some of you guys, this ex is the karmic partner. This person has to go. It's time to clear that energy. Love yourself first, Cancer. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Absolutely. That love starts with you. You got to love yourself first in order to extend that love to somebody that you want to reconcile with. Could be your twin flame, could be your soulmate. But it starts with you. And I was just talking about engagements, proposals with that romantic gesture from the Knight of Cups. And look at here, we've got an engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. We've got divine timing at play here. We've got my patience card buried under here somewhere. Where is it? It's right there. And look at this next card, guys. It's worth waiting for because it's going to take some time to come to fruition, to bring you what it is that you're looking for in love, in the 3D especially. We've got that honeymoon card. And the message of this card reads, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So for some of you, you and your person, either your twin flame or soulmate, you guys possibly are planning to travel sometime during the holiday season. This trip could be significant of you guys working through the issues and just being able to spend time together with no interference from anybody else, just you and your person being able to enjoy each other's company and have the time to heal what needs healing in your connection. And for some of you, that proposal could happen during this trip. Look at the next card, guys. There's that reconciliation card. So I feel it is just a matter of time before you and this person come back together. They want you back. I feel it's mutual. You guys are still missing each other and still thinking about each other. That is coming through here. All right, let's add some unspoken messages to this. This is the Unspoken Messages Volume 2 deck by Fire Witch Tarot. So angels and spirit guides focusing on cancer for this reading for the second half of December. So focus on your person, cancer, and let's take a look and see what it is that they would like to communicate to you. Since as of right now, communication is stifled, it's at a pause, and where's that mute button? Here's our mute card, okay? So communication, pause, mute. More than likely, you guys are not talking at this time. So let's find out. Let's find out if they could. What would they want to say to you? All right, here we go. I'll grab a few messages from this deck and whatever one you resonate with. Let's see what your person would like to say. Watching you with your karmic partner triggers me badly. Holy crap. There we go again with the karmic partners. This could be you saying this as well, Cancer. No doubt about it. We've got karmic partnerships that are here. It's buried under here somewhere. Sorry, guys. Can you believe that? Watching you with your karmic partner triggers me badly. That's a part of the reason why this person is afraid to possibly come towards the other. Why there is a lack of communication. Because this person, again, it could be you, Cancer, or the other person that you're thinking about for this reading. Coming forward with this message. Watching you with your karmic partner triggers me badly. Holy crap. Let's see what else. My gosh. I've loved you longer than you can remember. This person has loved you for a long time and or you may have loved this person for a long time. 
cancer. But clearly there are karmic partners involved here, interferences, third party situations that's being represented here. I can't believe this next message. I hope that's coming through on camera. This card reads, I'm working with the universe on a special surprise for you. I wonder what that surprise could be. Could it be an engagement, a proposal of marriage during the holiday season? Possibly. A fresh start, a new beginning, a reconciliation. Let's grab another one. One more message for cancer, please. Who needs to speak up here? Purposely putting myself in stagnant situations because I'm not ready. So that's for some of you guys coming through. That's part of this fear that's keeping this person stagnant. They're afraid to create movement. And that's what's contributing to the Two of Swords energy that we have here. Wow. All right, so let's add to this with some Lover's Oracle. Let's take a look and see. My desk is a mess. I've got so many cards on here. Angels and Spirit Guides, what else do we need to know for Cancer, please? For this reading, for the second half of December. Let me grab this bottom of the deck. Okay, what do we have here? Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. This is coming through for some of you guys. So there's room for new opportunities and possibilities to come in here, Cancer. That, I feel, is a part of the fresh start, the new beginning. We've got the full as well. Same thing, new beginnings. Going after what it is that you want, a fresh start, taking a risk. We also have this message coming forward. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Absolutely. Absolutely. Claim that new path for yourself, Cancer. And then we've got forgiveness coming through as well. Stop focusing your energy on past events. There we go again. Leave the past behind you. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think dream and imagine and it's true you know where is this card look at this that muse card is talking exactly about that pick up that brush and create your new reality for yourself what is it that you want what is it that you're dreaming about what is it that you're imagining for your future for your love life for life in general what means the most to you that is different for every person tuning in here if what you're wanting is reconciliation with your person, it's coming through here letting you know that that is so possible, so possible to manifest that. And for those who are not all about the reconciliation and you're focused elsewhere, whatever it is that you are focused on in your life, Cancer, you can bring it to fruition as well. You absolutely can. Wow. All right. So let's add some healing messages to this. Angels and spirit guides for cancer, please. For the second half of December. What else do we need to know at this time for cancer, please? What else do we need to know? There we are self-acceptance we've got divine guidance bottom of the deck signs so 
This goes back to loving yourself, Cancer. Putting you first, you know? And if you can't accept yourself, then that makes it very difficult to accept somebody else. So I feel these two cards coming through in this reading are so important. See yourself from a place of love and positivity, and that's what you will bring and attract back to you. Divine guidance. You are being divinely guided towards a particular path in your life, Cancer. So definitely pay attention. And this is the next card, signs. Pay attention to those signs that you are being guided towards. My goodness. And that's the second reference here to signs. It came through already earlier. So this right here is another sign trying to grab your attention however way that is resonating for you cancer my goodness all right guys so let's close out this reading with some guardian angels cards angels and spirit guides please for cancer some final thoughts for cancer for this reading please Surrender. Let me grab the bottom. Self-criticism. Okay. Surrender. Remain positive about the future of our planet for all is part of humanity's evolution. There is a divine order to all the chaos which you perceive that exists in our world. And even though it says our world, I kind of feel for this particular card, it's referring to your world, your perception of what's going on around you, Cancer. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all as it is. And that includes loving yourself first. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations and your life will magically transform. Because when we're not so married to an outcome, it allows the universe to step in on your behalf, Cancer, to create movement the way it's meant for you. Okay? And then we've got self-criticism coming through here. We, your angels, ask you to please be more compassionate towards yourself. That goes back to loving you. Observe the times when you have critical thoughts about you and make an effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive loving ones. You are a wondrous being of light, even if at times you think you are less than perfect. Remember that God and divine perfection exists in all things. And that as well goes towards this self-acceptance card that's coming through here. This is not an accident coming forward for you, Cancer, because I feel for whoever is relating to this, it's coming through to let you know that you need to love yourself first in order to experience the type of love that you're looking for. That love has to start within you first. Okay, Cancer, so that's where I'm going to leave this. I know my desk is such a mess with all of these cards here, but there's no mistaking some of the messages that have come through here. You can find happiness and reconciliation with the person that you're focused on for this reading, Cancer. You can have it. You can have wish fulfillment. You did end up, if I can find it, we've got the Ten of Cups coming through here. And you also have the Nine of Cups, which are two beautiful cards. You can make your wishes come true. And part of those wishes is manifesting reconciliation with the person that you have in mind for this reading. You can have it all, but it is going to take time. So have some patience, guys. Just allow the universe to work on your behalf. All right, so that's where I'm going to leave this. I hope whatever part of this reading you were able to resonate with I do hope that it offered you the guidance that you needed at this time. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box, Cancer, and I look forward to doing more readings for you guys in 2020. I do plan on posting a lot more content and more readings in the upcoming months, so definitely stay tuned. Thank you, Cancer, for being here, and I'll see you next time. Take care.